Before we get into this video, for whatever reason, there's been a lot of interest in this Blood Python clutch. Uh, leave a comment down below or get a hold of me if you want to be on the list. I, between the Patreon people, it's almost my half is almost gone already. So, but there are a few more that will be left. I only want to keep one for myself. So, um, just leave a comment down below. Get a hold of me if you want to be on the list again, and uh, let's get into it. Top of the morning, friends and family. How you guys doing today? Um, well. I, I can tell you how I'm doing today. We've got a blood python clutch on the ground. First blood python clutch ever here. And we've got my buddy Travis over at Living Legless Reptiles. It's actually, uh, well, it's your male. Yeah. We did we did a, uh, it's a group clutch. Group clutch. It's a, what do we call this? Uh, Joint clutch. Joint clutch. Breeding yeah, one. Sure, breeding you wanna one. Show, you wanna show everybody the male? Sure. <laughs> so this guy is a, um, Matrix, which is the uh, single gene of ivory, and uh, he's also 100% HET T positive. Oh, really? I didn't even know that. Yeah. What makes this a Matrix versus like a normal blood? You got a little more of the. Uh... So you get this. The Matrixes have basically the the dorsal pattern is is real clean, and then you get this weird dappling on the sides. Yeah, um, I was gonna say that dorsal pattern is what th throws it for me. It's yeah. Maybe they want to get out. Oh, you're okay. And. Uh, and they also have pink on their tongues, like their tongues are usually like pink and multicolored. Um, and uh, but yeah, they're they can be hard to to tell for sure that their matrix is sometimes. Yeah, it's definitely somewhat subtle, right? Yeah, sometimes it can be a subtle mutation, but in themselves are are a pretty mutation, you know. So a lot of people kind of look past them because they they want the ivory. I mean, but uh, I think they're a neat, you know, mutation on their own. So there's, there's the boy, and then you guys have seen my girl, of course, a lot, Sangria. She's she makes it on lots of the videos, and uh, she's a good mama. Looks like she's got nothing but pearly whites in there. We're we're gonna let Eli handle the the snake uh, the snake removal. Are you ready, bud? Yeah. I need you to calm down a little bit first, and then we're gonna get ready to take the snake. She's kind of big. So I'm gonna I'm gonna help you out a little bit, okay? Maybe, but for the most part, I'm gonna let you do it. Okay? Oh, you want to take your sweatshirt off? Yeah. Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we let we everything's coming off. Mm -hmm. Bang. Yeah, you look ready now. Well, you gotta get the snake off the eggs first, bud. Oh, she's in here. You wanna see? Yeah. Hey, mommies. Sorry. No, Noah, Noah's dancing is is awesome. Yeah. However, this is where the where it's happening. Is this oh, the wow. What do you think? It looks like she's done laying, yeah. What do you think? Uh, Eli, Eli, hold on, babe. Um, when are they going to hatch? Right down here. Usually pythons lay on their head. So if her head's on her Eli, top and her tail's done. down on wait the bottom, she's done. To yeah, when I'd say she's done too. To Grab her from her head a little bit and just kind of roll, peel her off the eggs. Oh, she's going to be a good one. Uh -huh. He's going to kind of lift her off. There you go. There you go. Oh. Yep, so get her off the eggs and then... Help, help me with daddy. You know, I'll make it a little... I'll bring her closer to you, okay? There you go. Okay, and then, yeah, that's good. Control her head. And then, I'm gonna, I'll lift her off back here, okay? You're doing a good job, right? Yeah. Oh, don't be scared. Don't be scared. She's not gonna bite you, I promise. Okay, I'll help, you want to help you a little bit? Why don't yeah. you go down away from her Here. head? There you go. There the eggs. There the eggs. Wow. These are really Where soft. Where are the slugs? I don't see any slugs. Yeah, I don't see any slugs either. I want to see the slugs. We're going to get some rolls. Yeah, it's okay. I got it. We're, we're going to separate the clutch out anyway. Can I hold one? I will be rude. Not yet, but not, not yet. Yeah, we're most lots of lots of rolls. It's alright, I got the flashlight ready to reposition. It might just be a, a slug, actually. Here, take a. Oh yeah, that's it. Give it a check. Oh yeah. If it's anything, it's a slug. If. 
Yeah, there's definitely yeah, no there's egg in there. There's no egg in there for sure. Just she, the way she was holding her. Right, yeah, she had, had a little bulbous yeah. Yeah. mask there at the end. Can I hold an egg in here? Um, yeah, you can hold an egg, but it's not gonna hurt. I'm holding we're gonna, we're gonna, those ones all have to be checked okay. to make sure they're on top, okay? Yeah, don't drop them. And don't spin it around. And don't spin them around sure. either. Just hold it. It's kind of the beauty of eggs is that if they're laid within 24 hours, it takes a while takes, for the embryo to adhere to the yeah, top, right? Yeah, so it, I mean, you, you generally have about 24 hours to, I mean, it's always nice to have, you know, when they're stuck together and it's, you know, just this perfect, you know, uh, you know, thing, but, uh... My egg boxes aren't big enough to fit the whole clutch in. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> so we have to separate them anyway. Peeling them apart can be a dangerous matter, too. Right. I've, I've Actually ripping that. an egg. I've pulled eggs where I've had to go back and use Elmer's glue and, you know, and, and stuff. Patch the egg up. You know, patch the egg up because of pulling them apart and... And one, one of the things I always keep in mind, too, when doing this is that these animals have evolved over, you know, millions of years, right? Millions, oh, basically. Yeah. Millions of years of, of hatching this way. It's, the, it's not rocket science to get them to hatch, right? They're, they're designed to survive. They're meant to, basically. You have to, you know, they're, they're hardy, is my, is my point. Um, not that you can't do little tiny twists and tinkerings to get things better and have higher success rates and higher hatch rates. There's all kinds of little things you can tinker around with to help and bring that up. But for the most part, they're going to survive if you do at least what you're, you know, keep them at the right temperature, at the right humidity. So, look at this though. What are you doing back there, Moosh? Hey. 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 It looks like uh, 17 is my count. 17? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 17 good eggs, zero slugs? Yeah, I don't see any slugs. Hey Noah. What? What do you know? I know. Can you please not do it right now? <laughs> hey Eli. What? What do you know? I know. What about eggs? That some are dinos, eggs, and some are snakes, and, and that's why I'm He's like, where do, how do I get out of here? How do I get away from the camera? <laughs> 17. <laughs> that means I get nine, and he gets eight. <laughs> that's true. That's true. One thing I might want to mention is, is doing a, you know, a joint breeding like this. I wouldn't do this with anybody that wasn't a good friend, because I know that no matter what happens with this, me and Travis would remain friends no matter what happened. If we had, you know, bad eggs, if one of the animals passed away, anything like that, we would remain friends regardless of that. So I would never join, I would never jump into something like this if it wasn't with a good buddy that I, that I knew wouldn't, wouldn't matter what happened. And we'd be friends at the end of it regardless of, even if I took the entire clutch and sold it and gave him no money. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> I think there is one slug. Right down here. Oh, there is one slug. Oh, dang it. I thought I was going to get more eggs. Looks like it's an even split. <laughs> That's what I get for it. No, but I didn't count that. Oh, you didn't count that? No. no Never mind. That was hidden up underneath this egg. It's not an egg, Eli. We could, we could flashlight it and see, but yeah, more than likely that one That looks hatch. pretty sluggy to me. Oh, it, oh it, yeah, that looks pretty sluggy, dude. Yeah, oh, yeah. I got so many lights on today. That's not veins. Those yeah, are, I don't think that doesn't look like It's a calcification in the egg, and then the shell of the egg. Sign it over here. Yeah, there's no, there's no veins in there. Yeah. So we got one slug. There's a slug in here. No, go ahead and kill the light. Kill this other light. Can I make it dark? Want, I need to turn the light off completely. You need to turn this light off, okay? Noah, please do not turn the light on. No, it doesn't mean hide it, it means turn it off. Thank you. So these blood python eggs are a little thicker, harder to see through the veins than, than with a ball python, but we can still see them, luckily, so that's good. Yeah, right there. Yeah, right there. Ooh, right in my face. <laughs> <laughs> and your face. I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blind. Eli. Lights off, please. Gosh, you guys. And then they can't see anything. We gotta check the eggies. Right there? Yeah, that's what, yeah. Wouldn't they hold a snake, Daddy? Oh my gosh, 
gosh, I gotta stop doing that. I don't think I'm going to though. <laughs> <laughs> when can I hold a snake? Um, you can hold a snake after we're done putting this clutch away, okay, buddy? Okay. So sometimes even with the clutch that has been laid correctly and nothing rolled out, I still like to give them a little check just to make sure. And, I, and as I can see here, everything everything's on top in this clutch. All these eggs, the embryo is sitting right on top. This one I'm gonna try and leave together. Got the space. Yeah. Nothing's touching the sides, nothing's gonna be touching yeah. the top. And yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be interesting to see which of these tubs, which one pips first. And, and first. even more interesting to see if like, a lot of them pip in one tub first and then the other tubs the take other longer. Tubs take longer. Yeah. 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 This camera is heavy. <laughs> Goodness oh, gracious, you carry this thing around all day? <laughs> Holy <laughs> smokes! <laughs> Tell me such a weirdo! <laughs> Alright, Hill's gotta go to work. Thanks, Hill, for all your help. Yeah, for sure. Bye, Hill. Bye. So these are going in the incubator. What are these gonna be incubated at? 88. 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Sounds about right, right? Yeah. I can fit four more clutches in that incubator, so let's get to hatching. <laughs> <laughs> Predominantly, most species of snake, you, they have a first shed and then you start offering food. Blood pythons actually take a really long time to have their first shed. You have to offer food um, before uh, that happens. So yeah, they they do everything a little a little different, a little slower, a little, a little slower. Thank you guys for joining us for this and. Next video, we're going to be hanging out at the NARBC in Arlington for the first time. So, we'll hope to see you guys for there for that. And one of these days, I will learn proper English. So, these boys are really interested to see what happens if we drop this snake egg from up on the stairs up there. So, boys, ready? Yeah. Hey, let's see it. You might want it. Oh! <laughs> I didn't know you were going to throw it. You got it on my shoe. Dude, I just dunked this thing in the lake.